Folks, for many years I thought I was running the best net on the market. That was until Clam started building these beautiful nets. And I used a prototype last year, and I'll tell you what, the lightest, most durable net I've ever used. And one of the things that I love, John LaHood, who's the project engineer here at Clam, you built this thing. What I love, first of all, is glide lock system. I mean, that is fabulous. And how did you design this? I wanted something that was most of all durable. We wanted something that you, if you're gonna spend the money on a quality net, we want it to last a lifetime for you. So we wanted it durable first and then light and easy to manipulate. So you can see it's got the full length push button on it there. Very forgiving. You can grab it at just about any angle. It's gonna fit right into your hand and you can just deploy it in no time. Very, very easy. That's what I love about this net. This when I used it this past year because a lot of times we collapse our net in the boat because we have so many people. And then when you get a big fish on, you wanna you know, get it Absolutely. going right away. Wow. And this is so easy. I mean, again, that's called the... Glide lock system. Okay. It, it's patent pending. So we are protecting that. You know, we put a lot of work into coming out with these things. You gotta protect them. That's what I, I fell in love with that right away. Now, uh, you can see that you can extend these nets too. And show yep. the folks how you do that. Well, there is a strain relief on here that locks. Okay. So if you want to lock it in any particular position or length, you can certainly do so. Um, that being said, when it's collapsed, you know, it's short, so you'd loosen that up. With the glide lock yoke, like you, like you demonstrated, just slide it out, but then you can also extend the handle. And all the handles, no matter which net you get, are all 65 and a half inches, and they all feature that laser engraved ruler on there as well. So not only do you have a conservation fish-friendly net on there, you also have the ability to get a quick measurement before you let the fish go to minimize the time that that fish is out of the water. And that's awesome because you can use that net when you're jigging, but if you're trolling, you extend it out and you got a nice long net for that too, right? Absolutely. The other thing I want to talk about, you know, catch and release is becoming, you know, so popular uh, around the United States these days. The conservation is very important and, and you guys built this net with conservation in mind. Can you explain this, John? Yeah, we put a flat bottom on there. Uh, what it does is a lot of people will actually keep the, keep the net over the side of the boat with the fish still in there, essentially making a live well for the fish. That flat bottom on there helps cradle the fish and get it into a better position where you can easily you know, manipulate the hook out of the fish's mouth. And the fish is laying flat down here, and Correct. that's huge in keeping Absolutely, the fish alive. Absolutely, supporting the fish a lot. Yeah. Now, I gotta really compliment you on this because both you and I do a lot of crankbait fishing. And folks, you catch a trout or a walleye on a crankbait and net them, everything is always stuck and tangled right. and whatnot. But you came up with this mesh, and it's, it's pretty much almost, you can't get a hook in there, right? Right, that's what we tried, yeah, definitely. You know, nobody likes getting hung up and messing around, especially low light periods or even in the dark, fumbling around trying to get your hook out of this. So along with durability and lightness and then less drag through the water as you're trying to hook or uh, net the fish, uh, we wanted a good rubber coating on there and a good tight braid to deter any kind of barb sinking in there as much as possible. So yeah, that's, that's fabulous netting. It really played is. around with a lot of combinations to get to where we want, but we're we're very happy with what we ended up with. Okay, so I've used this net for a year, yep. and I got to tell you one thing that really impresses me is how that glides through the water. And first of all, it's extremely light, but the way it goes through the water, there's not much drag, is there? No, not at all. And that's playing around with the actual size of the honeycomb on there and your patterns. And there's a lot more that goes into a net than just picking out a mesh and you know putting a handle together. There was a lot of work that went into these things, but we wanted to make sure when we launch a product that it is right and it works correctly and it meets everybody's expectations.